All right, so what I'm going to talk about today is the annotate tab in the menu bar and what it is used for. Now, this is something got added to AutoCAD, I would say, since AutoCAD 2008, so it's fairly new. And uh, let's see what the annotate tab does and how it helps us in working with our drawing and setting up our drawing. So first thing what I did over here was use a, a manufacturing template. I, I drew a little plate that you see over here with a few holes and a, a cylinder in the middle. So, uh, and uh, I tried to put in the dimension. Now these dimensions that you see over here are already annotated dimensions because once I scroll my mouse over there, you see that little two symbols and that means that the dimension has been set to annotate. Now, uh, what the annotate dimension does is basically helps us keep the dimension the specific size when we are trying to print a drawing. And obviously when we are printing a drawing, we never print from the model space, we always print from the layout space. So this is where I have my drawing set up to uh, two different uh, what do you call it? Two different viewports. This is viewport number one, and that's viewport number two. Now, what this does, it helps us uh, have parts of drawing on different scales. Like, for instance, you see, if I look into the same drawing, which is over here, if I click in, it shows uh, a scale of one is to two. At the same time, when I click over here, it shows a scale of one is to one. Now. What happens here is if I ever try to uh, change the scales, like for instance, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change it to be one is to one. Okay, you see the text size over here as well as here remains the same. Now that is really important because when we try to print a drawing which has two different scales, uh, every time that you scale a drawing, it changes. Uh, it changes the text font and obviously this drawing is onto a certain size and when I print it I want to make sure that my dimension height as well as even my text height remains consistent so that's why it's really important sometimes to use annotative dimensioning but previously uh, in the previous versions we never had annotative dimension so that's why we always did the dimension as well as text or even working with the leaders we always work with that onto the paper space so if I go into my drawing and I go into the layout size okay over here I have not assigned any dimension okay especially I've not assigned any annotative dimension so uh, when I open this template the template already comes in set with uh, the certain font size with respect to the sheet size. So if I would go into the dimension, I have to make sure first I am on the dimension layer. Okay, and if I go into the dimension, sorry, I'll take the linear dimension right there click on that and the end and I did that so I get this specific height but again this height is set with the template if I would go and click in here in the dimension style manager so you'll see all this is set, set in the standard bar if I hit modify I could always go change it and uh, it shows me the lines the symbols as in what arrows I have used I can always go and change it from here it shows me the text height which is 0.18 that's already set and it shows me the fit but if I click that then my dimensions would be set to annotate just like the ones that you saw in the previous file that I was just trying to show you so when we were working with this and I had another viewport I could always copy this viewport so I have two viewports which you have a lot of times obviously when you're working with drawings and some drawings you want to have at a different scale 
some drawings as in the details you want to have it on a bigger scale so you obviously always have two different scales so now previously I used to dimension in the paper space all the time so if I go to the model I don't even see that dimension which I just put in so what that helps with is if I go ch to another viewport and if I change the scale of the viewport only thing that scales is the drawing the dimension doesn't scale why because it's on to the paper space okay but today's class would be more about doing the dimension in the model space and by using annotate style so every time uh, I'm working with my drawing into the paper space and I ever want to scale something all I have to do is just go there scale it and my text or the dimension scales with respect to my scaling viewport scaling okay now let's see how that would work right now you see my dimension again is in the paper space it doesn't scale with respect to my model space but with annotative dimensioning instead of dimensioning in the paper space we will be dimensioning in the model space and assign it annotative dimensioning so that we don't have a problem like this okay now when you're using annotative dimensioning you have to make sure that you already plan ahead that you are going to use annotative dimensioning you're going to use annotative multiliters you are going to use uh, annotative multi-line text so you have to plan ahead it's not something that you really want to do later on once you're done with the project and and try changing the dimension style to annotate it so uh, let's go on and see how we would assign some annotative dimensioning to this little example that we have over here now we have everything drawn in layers if I click on this you see it's the model top if I click on this this would be a model front layer this is my reference layers and then these are my center line layers now so everything is pretty much there everything is drawn I'm not teaching you how to draw this but I'm just trying to show you how to put in the annotative dimension so before I go into the dimension I have to make sure I'm on the dimension layer and the next thing I'm going to do is uh, instead of doing the dimension right from here which I can but again this dimension is not going to be annotative dimension so I go to annotate in annotate I will click this little small little arrow right there which is the dimension style manager now the window pops up right now we are in standard you see it's standard it's not annotative so how do I make this annotative I go to modify I travel to or move to the fit uh, tab and turn my annotate on scale for dimension features and I have to make sure this is on and I hit OK and I can hit set current and close it now you see the standard tab has a little symbol right there that symbol is for annotate now I can go into the dimension select the linear click one two points and give it a specific distance now when I move my cursor on there you see it does show me its annotative dimension okay now the thing with annotative dimension I have to figure out the different types of scales that I am going to have set in my layout for the future printing of my drawing for instance if I click in this is 1 is to 2 if I click in this one is 1 is to 2 but this is maybe a detailed drawing so I might just make it 1 is to 1 which is double the size of this so one of the scales that I will be having in 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 maybe I can put in even 1 is to 4 but where do we put it in so when I go over here there's the scale list and the next one is add and delete scales so I'm going to click
click on Add and Delete Scales, select uh, Annotative Objects, hit Space Bar. So currently it's in the scale of 1 is to 1, which you even see down here. Now I'm going to add uh, the different scales. It doesn't matter which one I want, right? But I have to make sure which ones I will pick because that's what it's going to print from the layout space. So I'm going to pick 1 is to 2, add another one, 1 is to 4, and hit OK, and hit OK. Okay, so now this particular dimension is set for 1 is to 1, and I can always go and change it to 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 4. I cannot change it to these because I have to set the first three. If I do 1 is to 2, you see the dimension size have increased. So when I am in my drawing, this drawing is at a scale of 1 is to 2. This drawing is a scale of 1 is to 1. Now I want to show you what happens. I'm going to go set it back to 1 is to 1. So we see the scale. Now you see, even though this is a bigger, this is a smaller drawing and this is a bigger drawing, we still have the text height pretty much exactly the same. And this wouldn't have been possible if we did the dimension in the paper space. So basically we had to go over and dimension on this side as well. Okay, so I'm going to delete that because that's what we don't need. Go back to the model space. I'm going to add a couple more dimensions as in a dimension right there, uh, then a dimension over here, then that one, maybe uh, even this one. Now I have to make sure all these dimensions are annotated. You see, the symbol should show if I am over there. If the symbol doesn't show, then there's something wrong, but you could always match attributes by using MA, select the source which you know is annotative, and click the destination which you think is not. So once my dimensioning is done over here, this is just more of a preview. So it doesn't matter what scale that I put it in. It's more of a preview. See what happened here? This did not get changed. So what I could do is MA, select that, and select all of these. So it has the same properties even though they are a little bigger for what we need right now but you know I could always go and change it and you see everything changes at the same time okay now let's go to my layout and I see this dimension everything is fine everything is annotative dimension if I go inside my viewport by double clicking and I change the scale to 1 is to 1 you have to make sure that the text height for the dimension remains the same. Okay, you see? Even though it scaled the drawing up, the text height is still consistent throughout my whole screen, which is what we are trying to achieve with this exercise. Same thing, if I go over here, the drawing is in 1 to 1, I can go change it to 1 is to 2, so the drawing went down in scale, but the dimension still remains consistent throughout the screen. So now this was the example that I used for doing the dimension. Now we could do the same exact thing, but instead of dimension, we can do it with annotate text. Now I could go in here, I'll show you an existing drawing that I already worked on before. Now this is the drawing where I have even my text set up. Pretty sure the layer might be hidden, so I have to go in there and turn off, turn on the layer by unfreezing it. Now I did exactly the same way. I went to annotate, uh, make sure that it's a uh, annotating uh, text style. To make sure, I click on that. I make sure I click on annotate and hit apply. And then all I have to do is just go hit the text and then type it. Okay? So that would make the text that you see over here 
and that changes accordingly in